Hi YouTube. Now usually I don't really just jump into things, but today I figured something out and I'm really, really excited about it. So I'm going to share it with you right now on the same whiteboard that I used to give you a grammar lesson. Now I'm going to give you a lesson in mathematics. Interesting story though, it took me like a half hour to find this. And I just wonder how I managed to lose something this big. But I did. Today I have for you the theorem of Mexican cuisine quality relativity. And it works for Mexican dishes above $3.50 in value. Let me give you some backstory. Over winter break, I had the best burrito of my life and the worst burrito of my life in the same week. I wondered how this was possible considering the worst burrito was $10 and the best burrito was $4. And then I figured out the quality of Mexican food is inversely proportionate to the price, unless you talk about Taco Bell, which is a whole other story. So, I decided at Mexican restaurants, generally the cheaper it is, the better it is. So I made a theorem to show you exactly how good things are. The theorem states that when you subtract the price of the item from 20 and then multiply that by the inverse of the price, you get the quality on a scale of 0 to 5 for items under $3.50. For example, my $4 burrito, which was a fantastic burrito, would have ended up with a quality of 4, which is, I think, the only number that will really work for, where you plug in 4 and you get 4. Because 20 minus 4 is 16, and the inverse of 4 is 1 fourth, and 1 fourth of 16 is 4. Math is fun! Whereas if you plug in the $10 burrito, it comes out to 1. Which is pretty much accurate. So give it a try and tell me if you think it works. Also, I made a public MySpace because I got really tired of people adding me on my private one. So don't do that anymore, because I'll reject you and you'll feel bad, and I'll feel bad, and it's just a losing situation. My MySpace URL is very simple. It's myspace.com slash youraverageadam. Go and add me and go and add me. And one last thing, we're getting more and more of this gathering thing figured out and I think it's all locked. And last time I forgot to say what month it was in. It is in the fabulous month of June and the dates are solid now on the 27th and the 28th of June. It is a Saturday and a Sunday in Portland, Oregon. Day one we are going to Pioneer Square Courthouse and Pioneer Place because they're right next to each other. Then we are sleeping at the Crown Plaza Hotel, which is a two-mile walk. Or if you really want to, you can take a taxi if you're not a fan of walking. I don't care. I'm going to walk. And then day two, we're going to go to the zoo. And we're going to look at the animals. And I'm going to look at the otters a lot because I love otters. They're my favorite. So if you don't want to have to keep rewinding the video and figuring all this out on your own, I have it in textual form on my blog at youraverageadam.wordpress.com. I name my URLs after me because I am a little boy with a tremendous ego. Okay, bye.